What's up everyone, hope you're all doing well and good on Thursday. It is way day. It is nearly two o'clock, so it's a lot earlier than I would normally do in this video, but there's a very good reason for that, and that is I weighed in this morning. Um, I'm off this week, uh, I booked a week off from work, so I really didn't want to wait until six o'clock tonight uh, to go and weigh in normally, so I just figured when I'm at work it's not a problem because I'm distracted and all that kind of stuff, but there was a nine o'clock group this morning, um, so I went to that one instead. Um, same consultant, well, it would have been the same consultant, but she was on holiday, not too far away from uh, from where I live, so I just thought, you know what, get it done early and out of the way. I did, as normal, record uh, a video in the car, as I would normally do on way day, and as I got home and put it all together to edit it, I realized that perhaps the most single important part of it, which is where I actually reveal how much I'd lost, I somehow didn't record it which means that for a good five minutes, I was just in the car talking to myself. Um, I mean, which happens normally, but on way day, at least normally I press the record button. So I had all the build up and I had a little bit afterwards, but the actual most important bit, uh, I somehow managed to not press record or, or at least aim my finger at the, at the phone, well, I say camera at the phone, um, but not managed to press record. So you've got me sat in my, uh, in my flight instead <clears throat> but regardless I have been to weigh in um, and the week's been pretty good Friday night last week I went out with a friend uh, an old school friend and we were I was sat in the pub trying to because we went out for some food uh, and I was we were sat trying to figure out the last time we met up and because he lives down south like right on the south coast um, and I think it must have been about 18 months ago something like that so it, it's been a long long time um, so that was really nice, it was nice to kind of catch up with him, um, we've got very similar interests in terms of music and that kind of stuff, in fact I think it was him that got me um, into numerous, a lot of the bands I now like, it was kind of him that started me on that path when we were like 13, so like 17, oh god, now 18 years ago, something like that, oh, that's quite depressing. Um, so it's nice to always catch up with him and and, um, and, and talk about music and stuff for, for whoa, it was ages actually. Um, so that was really good and I went round to his mum and dad's afterwards um, and I literally I walked into the lounge and they were astonished at how I looked. Um, so that means that it's probably been a lot longer than, than I thought since I'd even seen them but it was nice considering this year I've yo-yoed quite a lot and I've, upped, and I've always kind of for every step that I've taken forward I've taken two steps back and for every decent weight loss I've had I've then had a big gain afterwards so it was nice to kind of have that reaction from people who had obviously not seen me in a while um, and, and I have that kind of affirmation that actually I, I am still fairly well on on track uh, and somebody at work well two two funny work stories I'll, I will get to my way in eventually don't worry I'll put a counter on the bottom but about where you can skip to one we had a meeting um, at work and bearing in mind after I mentioned a few a uh, couple of months ago we went we've, we've gone through kind of mass restructures and mass redundancies there are now in the in the department I work in at work the English side of it uh, there are seven of us seven members of staff teach English or will be teaching English come September um, of those seven I am the only man okay which is part of the course with with, um, with particularly English English is always in all the places that I've worked it's always been heavily um, heavily female there's not it's not many, pl in fact, I don't think there's any places I've worked in where men have outnumbered women in the English department, and this is no different. So I'm now gonna be, in terms of our everyday teaching department, there's gonna be seven of us and I'm the only man. So you'd have thought it would have been fairly easy to remember my name. However, we were in a meeting a couple of weeks ago and the person leading the meeting, bearing in mind there were seven of us in the department, her, and then somebody else. So there was nine of us in the room, I was still the only bloke, and she still, at some point during the meeting, managed to forget my name. Um, which is a good way of keeping you grounded because not half an hour before then she was like I hear you've got this new coordinator position I think you'd be really good at that and then half an hour later proceeded to forget my name so that was awesome um, however another colleague as I was walking to the uh, cafeteria canteen uh, last week she kind of stopped me this is the day after we'd had a, another big meeting and she was like she says, have, you, have you you know started shrinking and I never, and this might be the same for everybody else, how do you respond when somebody says, have you lost weight, in a, in a way that doesn't directly say, have you lost weight? Because she said, have you, she said something like, have you vanished or have you shrunk or something like that? And I was like, yeah, I've lost a little bit of weight. 
and then she was like, oh, how much have you lost overall? And then I kind of had to think about it and went, well, I've lost five and a half stone. And she was like, oh, that's not a little bit, is it? And I was like, well, no, I suppose not. But, and again, it had been a, it had been a while since I'd seen her. So obviously to her, I, I think I'd gone from where I was to where I am now and there'd been none of that in between a bit. So it's a very strange thing. But I had, that was two very positive experiences in the last week where people have kind of reminded me of the journey that I've been on. So. And that just helps going forward. And then we've got the day, uh, today's weigh-in, which I had Friday off plan. That, that all started from me going out on Friday, didn't it? Um, I had Friday off plan with a friend, and that was great. And it was really good. And I went around to his house, and it, uh, you know, for somebody who likes to kind of um, plan things out before, going to his mum and dad's house was a spur of the moment thing. So it was really good. I got to listen to um, the Soundhouse tapes, which is the very first Iron Maiden EP. It's like very, very hard to get hold of. That doesn't really mean much to anybody but Iron Maiden fans or heavy metal fans, but it's it was a great experience. Proper vinyl, vinyl player, amazing. Um, and But then I've been back on plan since Saturday because I knew that I wanted a loss. I said last week that I'd had three losses in a row and this was aiming to be four losses in a row. Well, I needed one and a half pounds to get back to my five and a half stone loss total. It's kind of been, you know, um, I've been up and down and, and close to it and far from it. I needed a pound and a half. This morning when I weighed here, Bearing in mind, um, image alert, I was just in my underwear, and obviously I went to weigh in, in shorts and a t-shirt. I'd hit that, so I was back onto five and a half stone. I actually overall lost a pound when I got to Slim World and the weigh-in. So, so I was half a pound off from being, I've, I've lost five stone, six and a half pounds, which is, I'm not, I'm not upset at all. So I'm getting back to that kind of five and a half stone bit, which means that I need to lose another stone to get back to my target um, that I hit last year. So. The good thing is that's four losses in a row now. I was looking in my book, um, and the last time I hit that was February, I think. Late January into February, I'd, I had five losses in a row, and those losses totaled, let me have a look. So I've got, I lost four and a half, then a half, that's five. Bearing in mind my math skills are pretty rubbish. That's five, six, a pound and a half, that's six and a half, a pound and a half, that is eight, still with me and then a half, so eight and a half pounds in five weeks. I have lost, three, five, six, seven. I've lost seven pounds in four weeks. If I can lose a pound and a half next week, I'll have equaled um, the last big run of losses that I had. So eight and a half pounds, I think that works out right. Over five weeks, I've lost seven pounds over four weeks. So I'm in the right direction and hopefully we'll just continue moving forward and, and forward uh, and forward. So. That's it, off plan day Friday, seeing friends, still managed to get back on plan and lost a pound. Pretty much back at uh, five and a half stone lost, one stone left the target. I think all that I'm gonna do now is just aim for consistent losses until I hit target. The weather is cooling down a little bit. It was, it's only, it's been kind of low to mid twenties the last few days, whereas it was like 29, 30 consistently last week. So that should help a little bit and I'll be able to get back into eating properly because I won't feel like I'm sweating to death. Um, so that'll be a bonus. Apart from that, everything's just going to move on normally. I'm going to try and get consistent losses over the, uh, the the summer, I suppose, and just see how we go. And hopefully, it'll all um, it'll all get better. So uh, one thing I will say, and this is slimming world a bit done now. Uh, so if you want to click off this video, that's fine. Uh, as well as it being way day today, yesterday was New Glasses Day. I picked up these new glasses. If you can see, them. I put these on Instagram um, in a little boomerang thing, which I don't really like. Um, but, and this is just for the glasses wearers out there, my prescription has changed ever so slightly because despite the fact that my eyes are already pretty rubbish, they've got worse, only slightly, but they've got a little bit worse. So I have slightly stronger uh, lenses in. When I put them on yesterday, I went to Specsavers yesterday to pick them up, and when, and when I kind of walked out the store, and this might just be me, but I'm not sure it is, I, it was like I'd almost forgotten how to walk. like. Because they were, my eyes were looking through a slightly stronger prescription, like my legs weren't, they, they changed length and the floor was a bit closer than it should have been. So I had longer legs and the floor was a bit closer than it should have been. And I'd forgotten how to walk. I was like, like some kind of, you know, baby I, or like some drunkard. So either people just think I'm stumbling along like a drunk or I'm some kind of just weird person. But I generally, genuinely couldn't. <laughs> my legs just felt like, I was like, oh, there's the floor, but my leg feels like it's, longer than it normally is. And I, I think I was like, stumbling all over the floor and all sorts, but uh, if I'm fine now, uh, I think. Um, but yeah, anybody else who wears glasses, when you've had a new pair, I mean, because my old pair were like a couple of years old, um, 
anybody had that? It was weird. I know there's always like a little bit of an adjustment period, but I didn't. That's the worst it's been in the while. To the, yeah, I, my legs were like too long, and the floor was too close, and I couldn't quite figure out the distance. So I looked like an absolute fool. But there we are. Anyway, this is a ramble now. So one pound off. Woohoo! New glasses. Woohoo! Five consecutive losses next week. Let's go for it. I'll see you later.